Guys, this is an educational video on how we collect the uh, enteric um, stool, and we just want to show you guys how to transfer the stool over into the carry blair. Um, we want to, um, it's very critical that we collect it into the carry blair as soon as possible. We want to make sure that we get it to the lab um, as soon as we can, and uh, we want to um, try to decrease uh, any chances of decontamination. As we all know, uh, CLIA came around last year and uh, we just want to uh, let nurses know that this is the way that we will be accepting the, uh, the stools from now on. So we will no longer accept it in the sterile container. We have to transfer it over to the carry blair. And uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how uh, we go ahead and transfer it over. So we wanna, uh, we wanna collect the stool inside of the sterile container. So um, we want to do that first, and then uh, we want to make sure that the stool doesn't contain any urine or any water. And that's very important because when you send it to molecular, we want to make sure that there's no contamination inside the uh, container. So that's first things first. So uh, once you see that the stool is soft and um, it's not too, too formed, then you're good to go. So, okay. So. First things first, we're gonna start off by transferring the stool inside of the carry blur medium. So you can go ahead and leave this uncapped. And then make sure that, um, like I said, you wanna make sure that it's soft and um, not too form. Take a scoop. and place it inside, or try to get it inside. And the purpose um, that we, we want to try to get it uh, filled up to the line. So make sure that it's not too below the line and make sure that it's not too overlined. If it's too below the line, then we will q and it and we cannot accept it. If it's way too over the line, then obviously it's too overfilled and we can't accept it that way either. So it just has to be right on, on the line shaking it kind of vigorously because you want to form an uh, even distribution. And then now I'm going to go back and collect some more because again, we want to make sure that it's filled all the way up to the line. I'm going to shake it again. Okay, almost there. And don't worry guys, it's not real stool. <laughs> so about right here. Okay, so this is acceptable. And then you want to properly label the container. Just like that. And then make sure the um, carry blare is not expired. Okay, so when you place the label on the carry blare, make sure that it is not covering the line and make sure that there's a clearance here because we wanna see the measurement. And then we wanna make sure that the carry blare is not expired. We do um, have some um, guidelines in uh, which we can't accept the specimens. If the specimen, like I said before, if it's way too hard or um, you know we, we can't do anything as far as like collecting it and transferring it over to the carry blare, we cannot accept it. Um, another thing that we wouldn't be able to accept if you're sending it to the lab and it's in the sterile container, we'd have to reject it. And if it's Q and S, which is below the line, we can't accept it as well. So what we do, instead of canceling it, we'd have to do a redraw. So once it gets to the lab, we'd have to um, first go on there and redraw, have a request for redraw, and then we'd have to call the floor and notify the staff and let them know that this uh, sample is not acceptable.